Hi, my name is not reading slump, but it may as well be. I have been in a reading slump for approximately two weeks now, so I don't have a whole lot of new books to talk to you about, unfortunately. But if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you may not know that I started reading Summer Days and Summer Nights, which is written by a whole bunch of authors. I don't really want to blame my reading slump on this book, but I did start reading this before the slump hit me, so it's kind of this book's fault. But don't get me wrong, this book is really good. I am just not enjoying reading anything right now. Everything is a chore. Since I haven't properly been able to read a book for over a week, I have been watching a lot of Netflix. So this is kind of just a bit of an update on what I've been doing in case you're interested and in case you need a break as well. If you're in a reading slump and you need to take a breather and just do something else other than read, like me, because reading right now is just so in case you want some TV show recommendations, these are the TV shows that I have recently been watching slash binging. The first TV show that I have been watching and I love it so much is Elementary. It's an amazing show, I would highly recommend it. It's just kind of like a cop show but Sherlock obviously is just really clever. But I really like how in this one Joan Watson actually kind of becomes like an apprentice and she starts to be able to do stuff that he can do. And I love that in Elementary he cares so much more about people. The people caring. I love caring about people. I'm so empathetic so I love it. Uh, the other TV show that you may know that I've been watching is Gilmore Girls. I'm in season six of Gilmore Girls and I love it. It is the best. I've also been watching the TV show Suits. In case you haven't heard of it, it's basically a TV show about two lawyers wearing suits. It's a good show. I've only recently finished season two and I'm just like on the first episode of season three. Sometimes it annoys me but sometimes it doesn't so it's kind of one of those shows where I'll watch a bit and then I'm like, you know what? I am sick of these people and I need a break. It's really like clever as well. It was recommended to me because I like Sherlock, so. I also recently finished watching Jessica Jones, which is like a superhero type thing, although I didn't really like it as much as other superhero movies and TV shows like The Flash and Arrow and stuff like that. I felt like it was too dark for me. It wasn't really my thing. The last TV show that I can think of right now, Teen Wolf. Now, if you haven't heard of Teen Wolf, it is kind of exactly how it sounds. It's about teenage werewolves. This is like a joke with every TV show. As the seasons progress, the overall storyline gets darker, but the TV screen also gets darker. With Teen Wolf, you kind of start out with a dark TV screen and you're just always squinting. Like, what's happening? I can't see. What is he holding? I really don't know what to classify Teen Wolf as. I just love it. I'm only watching it for Styles and Lydia, just so you know. So those are the TV shows that I am watching at the moment because I can't read. I just can't. I tried. I have tried to keep reading this and it's going really slowly. I even looked up some suggestions on how to get out of a reading slump and some of the things said that maybe you should read like shorter stories so that you feel like you're getting through them quicker. This is a whole book of like 12 stories. They're short stories and I can't read it. If you have ever conquered a reading slump by reading a particular book and you think that might be able to help me as well, please leave that suggestion in the comments down below because I would love to hear it. I really would like to break out of this reading slump and start reading all the books again. Nothing that I have right now has been working for me, so any suggestions would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click on this circle here and if you would also like to check out the latest video that I've put up, you can click on the box just underneath. Should be on my hand now. Ciao for now, monkeys!